A microaggression is a subtle, often unintended, indignity toward another person, often based in race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, or religion. This video from PBS.org discusses microaggressions. It is important for all of us to be aware and understand the subtle ways we may be hurting or insulting our friends, classmates, and neighbors. There are three types of microaggressions, microassaults, microinsults, and microinvalidations. A microassault is similar to what we think of as overt discrimination. In the case of microassaults, those acts are intentional. I was a server for a long time, and if anyone else wants to know this, uh, in the back of the kitchen, like when someone gets a table of, like say, um, Indian people, I hope this is PC, I don't know all the terms, but like Indian people or black people or anyone, they'd be like, who wants that table? I don't want it. They're not going to tip. And my heart would break every time. I used to be a One of my friends commented to me, he said, you know, I don't really even think you're black. You know, you're... And I was like, what? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I mean, you're smart. You do your work. Yes, you're athletic, but you do your work. You're smart. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't really know if you're black. I was like, I, I didn't understand. It made me question who I was and if I was still a part of the culture. And that's an example of micro invalidation and a micro insult. And I'm going to talk about those a little bit more. A micro insult is a comment that communicates the demographic group is not respected, that that person is a slight exception to the stereotype. It's an insult, even though the perpetrator thinks he has just rendered a compliment. Well, here at UNT, I've heard, um, you're so pretty for a black girl. I feel like it discounts me as a person and then I feel like it discounts my race. I feel like you can be pretty just because you're a woman or, you know, or all black women are beautiful, all people of color are beautiful, um, just the same as um, people that are not people of color. So I, for them to make that specific statement, that's what I'm like, why, what, made, what in you made you say that to me? As if it were a compliment. So another type of micro insult is when students in the classroom are dismissed, are treated almost as if they're invisible, for instance, in some of our sciences or engineering classes, uh, there are few women, and professors often don't call on those women. I had one instance in a, a statistics-based class where we were, we were discussing something bell curve related, and uh, he presented a question, and I don't remember exactly what the answer was, but um, I, I answered it, and, and he kind of doubted me. And he very condescendingly was just like, oh, okay, well, I mean, like, this is the best answer, but I guess your answer could be right. You know what, we'll ask, it was a grad student, and he was like, you know what, we'll ask Dr. So-and-so and see what and see what he thinks the best answer is. And there was no apology or anything. He was just like, oh, yeah, Dr. Dr. So-and-so said that, yeah, that was, that was actually a really acceptable answer. And I was just like, okay. What else is, is he going to doubt me on? And when else am I going to be called out in front of 70 other, 70 other people, you know, and have a weird exchange that makes the whole room quiet? Like one of my science classes, my teacher had asked what I wanted to do. And I told the teacher that I wanted to be a psychiatrist. And the immediately they're like, that's too hard for you. Maybe you should try a different field. Or have you ever thought about being a nurse, being a nurse practitioner, nurse practitioners, in psychiatry make pretty well they make a lot of money too have you thought about that like why go to med school genuinely sometimes somebody might feel like they can't make it you know and then when you continue to tell them that it does hurt you know i've had um a lot of professors tell me to my face that uh they were surprised that i was as good as a student as i was and um, that I paid attention in class and actually participated. And uh, when I asked why, they said, well, you know, you just come off as a troublemaker. You have all these piercings and short hair as a girl and tattoos. And so we just naturally assumed that you weren't really going to be any good. Another type of micro insult is when a professor says to a student, wow, you speak really good English. The message is, professor thinks I don't really belong here or that I'm not really American. Of course I speak good English. I'm a, I was born in the United States. But the professor sees 
a Latina or an Asian and makes the assumption that that person is foreign, or at least that is what the what the target hears. What is your underlying message when, you ask, when somebody asks if you're legal, but you don't belong to this country? That you don't belong. That's right. I was a guest, so I had to hand the person my ID. And he was looking at my name and everything. He's like, what are you? And I was like, well, what are you asking? He's like, what nationality are you? I was like, OK, I'm Lebanese, I'm Arab. He's like, you got one of those that blow things up, are you? No offense, though. What kind of crazy stuff yeah. do you ask someone? You get what I'm saying? And I was just, I was just really surprised. Like, it totally blew my mind that someone would think that the assumptions I get the most is that I'm very academic and that I'm very good at math. When they assume stuff like that, it makes me feel like they're taking the individual out of who I am and just assuming that all the people who look like me act like me. And that kind of makes me feel lesser of what I can do. The teacher was asking if someone could translate something in, in Spanish because he was giving an example and he needed this one word to be translated in Spanish. And, and he just stared at me specifically when he was asking. And he like, I knew we were making eye contact because after, like, I just stayed quiet because I was like, I'm pretty sure there's other people in this class I know Spanish, but he just kept staring at me. And at some point, like, the rest of the class turned to look at me, like, waiting for a response. And I was like, I'm not going to give you guys an answer. Like, this is not okay. Our teacher uh, pulled me aside because they were doing a, um, uh, something for Christmas, like, Toys for Tots or something. And uh, he had this bicycle, they had a bicycle they were going to give the, to the kids. And... Uh, you know, he came up to me and was like, hey, uh, there's, I need to switch out the seats on this bike. And it seems like somebody like you would know how to, how to do that. So if you could just change it out for me, that'd be great. And so I was like, oh, okay, sure. You know, not really thinking much of it. And then later on, I kind of thought to myself, that's odd. Why would he assume that I knew personally how to switch, you know, a bike seat? <laughs> just, you know, so I thought that was an odd kind of... Uh, maybe a micro insult on the fact that he assumed just because maybe I'm Latino that I'm good with my hands or something. A micro invalidation is a comment or action that dismisses the experiences of historically disadvantaged group members. Micro invalidations can happen when, uh, for instance, when a student is lamenting that she wishes there were more Latina faculty, for instance and the students in the class start rolling their eyes or, oh, come on, get over it. And the professor goes along with the students instead of with the, with the person who made the lament. Another type of micro-invalidation, one that we hear a lot about today, is being colorblind. When people say, I don't notice you're black. I don't notice you're Latina. I don't see color. What does that mean? How do you interpret that? What are people saying when they say, I don't notice your race, I don't see color? How do you interpret that? They're just trying to say that they're not racist. That they don't look at that side of you and they just want to validate you as a person, but it comes off wrong because it's like your race is very much who you are as an individual. 